think uh, there aren't major differences between selecting a wine for a restaurant or for an airline because in, in the essence you're looking for the same things. It is more challenging however because uh, at altitude some people think that the wines taste different at altitude and they do but it's not because of the altitude it's because the cabin is so dry and you, your, no, your, your nose dries out so you don't actually smell as well you know, in the air as you would on the ground. So that's the first thing. So we're looking for wines that have large personalities, wines that uh, are going to still show uh, well up there. And then there are other service issues. You're using you know, smaller glasses than you probably would use in a restaurant because of space problems. The wines are generally not decanted. You're not always serving the wines at the most perfect temperature. Everyone at Singapore Airlines does as much as they possibly can to make sure that the wines are served as close to restaurant situation. You have to pay attention to the tannins which um, might be too high in the air because tannin and acid is exaggerated in the air. So we have certain parameters. We don't buy wines that have any exaggeration either in tannins or acid. So once we pay attention to that rule, we buy what we think is good, or we recommend to Singapore Airlines what we think is good. We try to consider that this wine might, um, might be enjoyed with a Western meal, or possibly a, a spicy Singaporean meal. So the food is something we really don't have control over because there's so many sectors and so many routes. So, one way is to ensure that the wine has sufficient freshness and acidity, you know, as I mentioned with the fruit characters being fairly uh, dominant and being accessible to the majority of passengers. I think those components tries to take into consideration the versatility of that wine to ensure that, you know, it can go with many different types of meals and types of flavors. I think the best way for passengers to enjoy wine on board is just to realize that they've got a long flight or a, or a short flight. They've got the opportunity just away from phones, away from computers, and unless they're working on their computer, but certainly away from phones. And they're in a position where they really can taste uh, the full array of wines. So I think the answer is to drink, um, you know, less is more on board. So if I fly, I tend to have a taste of all the wines that are on offer rather than just have the one wine because it's a lovely opportunity to contrast. So I think some people, business travellers, people who travel a lot, suddenly they've got the opportunity to relax, taste some wines, eat some food, watch a movie. You know, it should be a pleasurable experience. <laughs>